UNC has received a lot of press for alleged sexual assaults on campus. But what doesn't get much attention is what happens right after a sexual assault victim seeks help. Reporter Danielle Wallace joins us live from UNC Hospitals with more on the process. Danielle? Sorry about that, I think we're having a little bit of difficulty with that, but we're still gonna go ahead and roll her package and all the research she did for you. After sexual assault, time is ticking. Up to about five days we can collect evidence. Um, obviously the evidence is better the faster you come in and most states actually just, their guidelines are 72 hours. Sexual assault nurse practitioners collect evidence in a rape kit. The kit leaves out no details. One part of the exam involves plucking 50 head hairs and 50 pubic hairs from the patient to compare to any foreign hair found. I think that would put people through a lot of pain. Um, and when you've already been through something that's traumatic, I don't exactly want to cause you any more pain. If you're sexually assaulted, you may end up here for up to five hours. Nurses collect DNA and photos, swabs are done, and blood and urine samples are collected. The patient will also have to leave behind clothes and underwear for evidence. Despite the grueling process, attorney Matthew Szynski says the sooner a sexual assault is reported, the stronger the case. Evidence gets stale, people's memory gets foggy. The, it gets much harder to prove cases the older they get. But according to the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network, about two out of three sexual assaults go unreported. One reason? Not every victim wants to involve police. Director of the Orange County Rape Crisis Center, Irene Dwinell, choice if and when to involve law enforcement. On our end at the Orange County Rape Crisis Center are really invested in hearing you, whoever you are as a survivor, and helping you to, to get to a place that you feel good about what your next steps are. But getting a rape kit done at the hospital doesn't mean you have to choose to prosecute and choosing to get a rape kit done close to the time of the assault could give you more options in the future. Victims of sexual assault may choose not to go through the criminal justice system at first, but choose later on to take the case to trial. In North Carolina, the hospital saves a rape kit for one year. At any point in the year, the patient can choose to release evidence to the police department. Sharon. Daniel Wallace live from UNC Hospitals. Thanks, Danielle.